Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another exciting episode of Good Morning Radio. I am your host, the Kaiju Conservative. So Tuesday, Google CEO Sundar Pichai uh, was testifying on Capitol Hill before Congress about various uh, various things. You know, Google's uh, bias uh, against conservatives, um, their their censorship uh, efforts, and and so on and so forth. Uh, but they were also questioned about uh, Russia and what ro- role Russia played uh, it, with Google and trying to influence the 2016 election. Uh, and and Democrat Representative Jerry. Uh, uh, Jerry Nadler, Nadler, Nadlis, not sure how you pronounce it. We'll go with, we'll go with Nadlis. Uh, Jerry Nadlis uh, <laughs> asked uh, the Google CEO, you know, about uh, media reports that, that, that Russia had spent thousands upon thousands of dollars with, with Google uh, in an effort to uh, purchase ads to influence the 2016 election. And, and, and Sundar Pichai, he, he, I don't think he meant to because he's a, a, a huge left winger and, and an extreme left fascist and actually is one of Jerry Nadlis's main campaign donors. Uh, so I don't think he meant to completely destroy uh, Jerry Nadlis on national television, but uh, he actually did manage to do that. I've got some video of it. Let's go ahead and, and take a look at uh, Jerry Nadlis's question and Sundar Pichai's response to that question. Okay, thank you. Now, according to media reports, Google found evidence that Russian agents spent thousands of dollars to purchase ads on its advertising platforms that span multiple Google products as part of the agents, the Russian agents' campaign to interfere in the election two years ago. Additionally, Juniper Downs, head of global policy for YouTube, testified in July that YouTube had identified and shut down multiple and shut down multiple channels containing thousands of videos associated with the Russian misinformation campaign. Does Google now know the full extent to which its online platforms were exploited by Russian actors in the election two years ago? We have, uh, you know, we undertook a very thorough investigation and in 2016 uh, we we now know that uh, there were uh, two main ad accounts uh, linked to Russia which, uh, which you know, advertised on Google for about $4,700 in advertising. We also found other limited... A total of $4,700? That's right. Uh, which was, uh, you know, no amount is uh, okay here, but, you know, uh, but mm-hmm. we found limited activity, improper activity. We have learned a lot from that, and we've, you know, dramatically increased the predictions we have around our uh, election offerings. Leading up to the current elections, we, did, we again found limited activity both from the Internet Research Agency uh, uh, in Russia, as well as accounts linked to Iran. And what, what specific steps have you taken, including during the recent 2018 elections, to protect against further interference by Russia or other hostile foreign powers? $4,700. That's, that's how much Russia spent on advertising with Google. $4,700 in 2016. And... <laughs> Oh my God, Jerry, Jerry Nadlis, he, he, you could tell he was not happy. His next question, he was, he was staring down at the paper. He had this angry look on his face. You could, you could tell, you just tell he was thinking, God, fucking damn it, this fucking curry eater is not paying, paying attention. He's not playing along. I said thousands of dollars and it's only 4,700 and God damn it, fuck this guy. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. $4,700. That is the extent of what Russia spent with Google on ads to try and influence the 2016 election. Folks, give you some perspective on this because uh, <laughs> some of you out there, you, you, you may not, uh, you may not know exactly what, you know, $4,700 is, but uh, my first car that I bought 15 years ago, uh, was it 15 years ago? Yeah, 15 years ago. Bought 15 years ago. Cost more than $4,700. Cost about $5,000. My second car that I bought about 10 years ago cost more than $4,700. Forty seven hundred dollars is 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 it's nothing, especially when you when you when you're talking about internet advertising. That is literally absolutely nothing. 
You've got companies that are spending millions upon millions of dollars per day with Google and their advertising. You've got companies that are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars per day on advertising with Google, on Google AdSense. And then you've got two companies, two Russian companies that are spending $4,700 between the two of them in one year on advertising on Google Ad AdSense. Folks, $4,700 on Google AdSense, that's not going to get you anywhere. That is that is that is less than a drop in the bucket. Gateway, I, I saw the the Gateway pundit described it as as a drop of water in Lake Michigan. I would even go further than that. I would say that's a drop of water in the fucking Gulf of Mexico. I mean, Jesus Christ! The, if Russia is spending only forty seven hundred dollars and they're able to influence the election with that just that paltry amount of money, why the hell aren't they spending forty seven hundred dollars on on every country to influence? their elections why don't why isn't every country in the world a principality of russia if all it takes to buy a major national election is forty seven hundred dollars spent on advertising with google <laughs> of course it's uh, of course that's not the case at all it's 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 ridiculous this whole russian conspiracy uh thing this whole russia collusion narrative it was always fake it was always you know something cooked up i think it was cooked up number one to hide hillary and uh, uh, barack obama's crimes during their administration but number two i think as a secondary benefit it was supposed to be the vehicle by which they would get Trump impeached, get him out of office, and somehow install President Hillary Clinton. Not sure exactly how that's supposed to work, even though that's been a, a pipe dream of the left for, for the last two years. But that was that was always the purpose of the Russia investigation. You know, it was to cover up past crimes by the previous administration, and it was to get rid of Donald Trump, either get him impeached or lower his approval rating so much that he would be forced to resign or he would be easily defeated and also a third uh, a, a third um uh, purpose of the Russia collusion investigation is to undermine public confidence in our national elections you notice the Russia collusion the Russia collusion narrative came up with the 2018 2018 midterm elections as well, especially here in Florida. Uh, I, I, Bill Nelson, bef in the, the months leading up before the election, point blank said that Florida's election system was hacked by the Russians in an effort to, to you know, set himself up for a challenge in case he actually lost. Of course, he did lose. He did challenge it, and it didn't make a damn bit of difference anyway. He still lost to Rick Scott uh, by, by a couple thousand votes. I think the margin was a lot more than that when you take out uh, illegal voting and the shenanigans in Broward County, but that's that's neither that's neither here nor there. Now, is <laughs> the, the 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 bad thing for Democrats with the Russia collusion narrative is is it's been so, so totally torpedoed every single time they try to bring up some evidence that's supposed to prove Russia collusion, it turns out to be a big fat nothing burger like this money that was spent by Russian companies with Google. There's absolutely no way in hell that two Russian companies spending forty seven hundred dollars on Google would be able to influence a national election, I would doubt they'd be even they even be able to influence a local election. It's 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 just flat out not true. And and the fact that uh, that that Google CEO the Google CEO answered that question so specifically, I don't think he got the memo. He wasn't supposed to answer that <laughs> that specifically. And like I said, you could tell Jerry Jerry Nadlis he was he was oh he was pissed. I'm sure there's going to be a a. a a very nasty phone call uh, to the uh, to the Google offices later on today, if there hasn't been already. Uh, but yeah, no, he was pissed. You know, I th I, th I think Pichai screwed up. I don't think he got the memo. I think he was supposed to uh, just confirm with what Jerry Nadlis was arguing. Said, "Oh yeah, no, the the Russians they spent thousands upon thousands of dollars on the election. You're right. We've got that evidence. We got it right here, and we're taking steps to prevent it." Instead, he he answered with exact numbers and and that's just <laughs> that's just not something that is that 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 the democrats are 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 able to do 
Because every time you come up with the hard numbers, every time you come up with the hard evidence, it disproves the narrative. Now, will this completely destroy the Russian narrative? Will this get the Democrats to stop talking about it? Of course not. The Russian narrative is the only thing that they have to go on. It's it's their it's it's their strategy going into 2020. You know, vote Democrat because Russia. That's going to be that that's that's they they're they're going to keep plugging away at this Russia thing. When Trump wins in 2020 because of it, they're going to go ahead. They're going to continue with the Russia. I mean, this the, the Russia angle is going to be with us in perpetuity until the end of time, until, uh, uh, you know, until the sweet meteor of death crashes down on top of all of our heads and kills us all. Democrats will still be talking about Russia and they'll probably try to blame Russia for the sweet meteor of death as well. Hey guys, thanks so much for listening. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. As always, if you liked what you heard, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Both those things help me out quite a bit, and I will see you all next time.